Indian Air Force chief has arrived on a five-day visit to France, during which he held discussions with his French counterpart Philippe Levine, and he will also flag off six Rafale fighters from the Marignac Air Base today, and Dassault Aviation will also brief about the latest enhancements under the Rafale F-4 standard. The two air forces have seen significant operational interaction recently, that includes the Guru de Bilateral Air Exercise, and the Exercise Desert Night 2021 hosted by United Arab Emirates. The first of the 24 MH-60 anti-submarine helicopter has carried out its first flight in New York, and officials have said that the first three helicopters will arrive in India in the last week of July. The Indian Navy will soon send its team to the US for induction of the MH-60 multi-mission helicopters. These helicopters are meant to meet the immediate requirement of the Navy, which is relying on its P-8I maritime aircraft for anti-submarine operations. Experts have suggested Indian military planners to start work on long-range cruise missiles for both surface ships and submarines, as the six upcoming SSN submarines under Project 76 and six diesel electric submarines under P-75I will feature vertical launching system. The DRDO is working on a long-range cruise missile, but its range of 1,000 km might not be enough to keep Indian SSNs to operate from safer locations, due to which a LRLACM Block 2 variant with a range of more than 2,500 km is required to enhance India's non-nuclear deterrence measures, and must also develop next-generation cruise missiles with an extended range of 4,000 km that will benefit Indian Navy's strike capabilities and also enhance its anti-access and aerial denial capability in the Indian Ocean and South China Sea. Even after the issue of price of AK-203 rifles has been sorted out, there was no announcement on the local production of AK-203 rifles during the recent visit of Russian Foreign Minister, on which the Indian Defence Secretary has said, that the matter is at an advanced stage, and the deal is expected to be signed shortly. When asked about the procurement of lightweight tank in collaboration with a foreign country or from the DRDO, the Defence Secretary has said that the government believes on self-reliance, but the Ministry takes individual project decision, as it doesn't want the defence preparedness to be compromised. The Indian Navy has decided to decommission a Kilo-class submarine in June 2021, after which the Navy's submarine strength will reduce to 14. Mazagin Docks Limited has made an offer for three more Scorpion-class submarines, but latest reports indicate that the Navy is not interested in procuring additional Scorpion units, and has also rejected the offer for six improved Kilo-class submarines from Russia, and is focused on its future conventional submarines on the Project 75I with foreign collaboration under Make in India. During a virtual meeting on India-Vietnam defense cooperation, Indian officials have expressed to their Vietnamese counterpart, that Indian shipyards are willing to work with Vietnamese shipyards for construction repair and maintenance of warships. India has also offered the BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, while Vietnam is interested in purchasing the Akash next-generation surface-to-air missile defense system. Chinese media has reported that China is all set to upgrade the engines of the J-20 fighter jet with 2D thrust vectoring nozzles, and has claimed that it will give it an enhanced maneuverability and stealth capability, and will surpass the American F-22. The J-20 was also spotted flying without a Lundberg lens, which is a small device used to intentionally expose a stealth aircraft to others in situations like training or non-combat flights. Oh, my God.